When it comes to American terms, roadside attraction is a very old term. Cactus Joe's is a roadside attraction, and what you see in here today is going to blow your mind. It'll also blow your mind when I tell you how darn close to the strip it is. But before we get there, let's go take a cac look at Cactus Joe's, one of the weirdest places you'll ever see in all of Las Vegas. And I guess technically it's in Vegas, but come on, let's go. We got to see what this looks like. So you know like those weird curiosity places that every city has? This is one of those. This is actually not far from the Strip. Again, I'll tell you how to get here in a minute. And uh, it's, it's really where anything you see from a casino that doesn't look like it belongs in the desert, well, this is where it comes from. Also, all the rich people stuff, it comes from here too, because they have rocks here. They have cactuses here that are several hundred years old, which we're gonna look at in a minute. And this is one of my happy places for me and the wife. Man. <laughs> Check that out. That is a Snoopy Charlie Brown cactus right there. That one right there is probably two, 300 years old. They have to import these. These come from Northern Arizona. They do not come from this area. And we're gonna find them in this area. So I know this is at least a few hundred years old and it is just fantastic to see what this looks like. Have the land of little things, the land of ants. This one is always strange too. So this place is definitely off the norm. You don't think of this in Vegas, but every time you see something that doesn't belong anywhere, like Joshua trees, Joshua trees come from here. With some tender loving care, they can function. And look, you have a maze. So you also have a wedding shop. Yes, you can get married here at Cactus Joe's. So decide to lose yourself in your marriage and lose yourself in the maze. I'm just kidding. I love I love being married. I love you, YC. Oops. Ha ha. So, you know, for people that invest in this kind of landscaping, I think these are saguaro trees, the big ones. And they they take a hundred years, I've heard, to grow one arm on them. So how old are these saguaro trees? Very old, very tender. You might see some of these here. If you take a look and you have eagle eyes with little caps on top, that's because it gets colder here than it does in Northern Arizona where they normally grow around the, area, uh, the Phoenix area. So just like how out here, you have sorts of trees, but everywhere, you're driving around Phoenix, you're gonna see lots of saguaro trees. There's like a corridor. The secret is, well, it's not much of a secret, they're building an amazingly huge botanical garden just across the street from here. They have land from the BLM. That's Bureau of Land Management. It's not what some of you guys thought it was. And this used to be like a little preview center for it, but it doesn't seem to be right now. But this area right here, really cool storage container. So they're doing that across the street. It's a work in progress, many years. Cactus Joe is a real person, so, Come down here and say hi to Cactus Joe because he's real. And uh, come down here and check out some of this other cool stuff here. You know, so the next time when somebody says, I ain't going to Vegas, there's nothing for me to do, just let them know this is an option for them too. How do you get here? That's simple. You just take a ride down the strip until you get to around the Silverton, take Blue Mont Diamond Road, go west for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and you'll have a choice. You go over the hump to Pahrump, we all know what happens there. Or you come to Cactus Joe's and go the other way. It's a really amazing place. I want you all to check it out while you're here. Cactus Joe's. They're open seven days a week during the summertime, 
9 to 5. What a way to make a living Toasty! over on the weekdays and to Saturday. And then from 10 until 5 on Sundays. Winter hours, call ahead. They close up a little earlier because it's so cold. This has been Cactus Joe's. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. I filmed this on a 360 camera. I'm trying to edit it just for fun. Let's see if it works. Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? What's up? Do I know you? We know you. We oh, watch your what's your name? Video. I'm Joe. Um, I'm Steven. Nice yep. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Steve. I'm Barbara. <laughs> Barbara? Nice to meet you. Cool. We're doing a 360 video tour of this place. Do you guys like this place? Is it awesome? Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. Very unique. You guys are from out here? You guys yes, do an LV hat? Yeah, from here. Very nice. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful place, man. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are great. Yeah, we like your videos. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You have a good time. Always fun to meet people when I'm doing videos. Anyways, Cactus Joe's. Go down to the Silver Tin on the Strip. Take the uh, Blue Diamond Road West. Drive until you have an option to go to Prump and don't go to Prump. You'll end up at Cactus Joe's in no time. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, I think I already said this. Let me know. Subscribe. Tell me in the comment below, do you want more 360 tours like this? Because I can make them. Trying to get a different type of video vibe happening. All right, this is on three, two, one. Click. We're gonna click out. I love you, Caroline. Thanks for being out there, everybody else. And we gotta go three, two, one, and click.